Hi guys, are you ready for another homework helper? Tonight, we're going to be estimating and finding the sum for two, three, and four digit numbers. So come on along with me. All right, our first reminder is to remember that estimate means to round. Whenever a question doesn't ask for you to move to a certain place, you need to go to the largest place and round the number. So look at my example. The example number is 2,679. Because it did not tell me where to round to, I just count over to the last place that we have. So we have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. So I know that I'm gonna have to round to the thousands because there's four places. So we wouldn't round to the tens or the hundreds if it doesn't tell us if there's four places. We need to do ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And as you can see, I rounded to the thousands and got 3,000 as my number. All right, I've got two sides here. The first side, we're going to, I want you to watch me. The second side, we're gonna have you try it. So I'm looking here and I see the word estimate and I realize that the word estimate is very important because that's gonna tell me that I need to round my numbers. Second of all, I am going to have to find the sum of 84 and 26. Sum means to add. So I need to be very careful as I set my problem up. I've gone ahead and done that already. I made sure that I put my 84 and I have a spot where we can round it. In fact, let's go ahead and round 84. So I say ones, tens, this is my place value right here. And I circle the helper, which is a four. Zero, one, two, three, four. It tells me to stay down. So this rounds to 80. And then I bring my next number directly underneath it. I'm gonna do the same place. I go to the tens place, because there's two places. I circle the helper. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. It tells me to bump that two up to a three, which means I am going to have 30. Oh, these become zeros too, which means this is going to be 30. Now I need to do that second part of the question, which says find the sum. So now I'm going to have to add these two numbers. Zero plus zero is zero. Eight plus three is 11. All right. Do you see the other side? It says initiate brain activity. I want you to go ahead and do this, pause it, and then come on back and we'll check it together and see how you did. Okay. I hope you had a chance to set your problem up. I have set up my problem and I hope you set it up the same way. Next, we would need to do that very first step, which means we need to estimate. So I'm gonna go over here, there's two places. So I know I'm estimating to the tens. That's seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It bumps up my four so that I am closest to 50. Down at the bottom, I see that I am rounding to the tens. I make sure that my two uh, is giving my direction to the tens place. Zero, one, two, it says stay down. So that means that this is gonna be 80. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus eight is 13. Did you get 130? I hope so. Well, let's try another one. All right, you can see two sides. So let's do my side, watch me. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to estimate, all right? Then next we're gonna to have to find the sum. So I'm gonna set my problem up. I'm getting ready to estimate. 267, this time I have three place values. So I have ones, tens, hundreds. So I'm going to the third place value because if it doesn't tell me, I go to the last place value I have. I'm gonna circle its helper. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bump up that two. Everything behind it becomes a zero, which means I have 300. My next number is 139. I'm gonna do the same thing. Underline the last place, which is the hundreds. Circle the helper, which is a three. Zero, one, two, three. It tells me stay put. So I'm gonna leave that one where it is, make everything else zeros, which means 300 plus one, zero and zero, zero and zero, three plus one is four. All right, do you see the other side? Initiate brain activity. Try that and come on back. Okay, let's see if you set your problem up correctly because that's important. Did you make sure that you lined up all your numbers? All right, we have three places, so that means we're gonna be rounding to the hundreds. 
we're going to circle our helper. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bump that 3 up. We're going to bump it up. It gets bumped up to a 4. Everything behind it becomes a 0, so it's closest to 400. The next number I have, uh, I'm rounding to the hundredths as well. 0, 1, 2. So stay down. So I have 200. 400 plus 200, I have a 600. Did you get 600? Hope so. Let's try another one. Okay. Notice here I have four places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So this time we're going to round to that thousands place. First, we're going to have to estimate, and then we're going to find the sum, which means to add. So let's set up our problem. My first number, I'm going to go to the fourth place, which is my thousands place. My one becomes my helper. Zero, one. It says stay put, don't do anything else. So my six, my six stays put, and everything else becomes a zero. All right, my next number, 4,000. I underline my four. My seven is the helper. It gives direction to the thousands place. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bump up that four. I'm going to bump up that four to a five. Everything else becomes a zero behind it. And then I simply add zero, zero, zero. And five plus six is 11. So notice that I have 11,000 as my answer. All right, initiate brain activity. Try this and come on back. Okay, let's see, did you set your problem up correctly? Did you go over here to the thousands place? Did you circle the helper? Zero, one, two, that tells me I need to stay put. So I have my 5,000 there. I came down to the bottom, I circled my helper. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, bump up that two to a three. Make everything else a zero. Oops, that's a bad three. Go ahead and add that up, and you should have gotten 8,000. All right, we've got something else. This might be a little tricky. Watch me. Notice I am still estimating, and I'm finding the sum, but I have a four-digit number and a three-digit number. So watch me. First of all, I'm going to um, estimate this number. So I go out to the fourth place, which is my thousands place, and I circle my helper. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That nine says bump it up. I'm going to bump it to a three. Everything behind it becomes a zero. All right, let's look at my next number. Oh, look carefully. I had to make sure that I did not put the six. Look where I did not put the six. I'm going to change the color for you. You see how I did not put anything over there because I don't have any thousands. So I need to make sure that I leave the thousands place empty. All right, so this time I'm going to round this part to the hundredths. Notice I'm going to find its helper. Zero, one, two, three. It says stay put. And so when I put this over here, it's going to be very important that I leave that space there so that I don't make it 9,000 because that's not what we have. We're actually adding 3,000 plus 600. So when I do that, I should get 3,600. You try the next one and be very careful about where you place everything. Okay, let's see if you set your number up correctly. Did you make sure you lined everything up uh, right underneath each other and left that space for the thousands down below? Let's see, you would have rounded this <clears throat> to the thousands. That one says zero, one, it says stay put. Everything behind it becomes a zero, which is 8,000. The seven here, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It bumps up that two to three, and we have to make sure that we put it in the correct place. So we have zero, zero, three. All right, did you get 8,300? That one was tricky, but I've got one more mind-blowing one for you to try. Okay, this is gonna take a lot of brain stretching. And I'm not even going to help you. I'm going to see if you can try this one all on your own. Then come on back and I'll check it with you. Oh, get that brain stretching. Go. Okay, the trickiest part of this one was going to be how you set it up. I hope you noticed that you had a four-digit number, which is in thousands, and you were adding a two-digit number. So I hope you lined these up correctly. 
Right here, I'm going to my nine. I circle my nine. We know nines next to each other causes trouble. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bump it up. If I bump it up, this makes 10,000. So I got to make sure I get 10,000 written here. I only have two places here. That means we're rounding to our tens. So I go to the end uh, of my number, which is my tens place. My three says zero, one, two, three. It says stay down. Notice very carefully, I have to put my four right over here so that now when I add it's zero, see the, they're in line, zero plus four, zero. Woo, 10,040. That was some brain stretching going on there, some fireworks. I hope you're getting better and better about finding the sum estimating and finding the sum of two digit, three digit, and even four digit. Great job. Till next time. Bye-bye.